Mets up 9-1. Everett ever slowly gets into the box. Ponsino says, let's play. Everett flies out to left. On the way back to the dugout, Everett picks up an argument regarding a call third strike from back in the third inning. Watch what he does to his manager, Bobby Valentine. Throws him aside like a would-be tackler. Harry and Wendell Stipp try to regain control. And Everett punches him out. Carl Everett was ejected. The Marlins expect to get champagne after the win, but instead, they get doubt. Still in the game. Strike three call, and Brantley gets the save. Gary Darling just ejected Kyle Everett. Yep. He's got a short fuse, and I've seen him do that before. He wants that game over. He's going to really open up the strike zone. Yeah, he tossed Everett, so there will be a fine for Carl. Bottom second, one zip count. Everett steps in. Right foot digging in. The home plate umpire, Ron Culpa, says, you know, hang on. There's a line here. It's with chalk. You can't erase it. I'll draw it for you. There it is. That's where players stand. Let's start over. Everett Kulpa, they have a little discussion. Jimmy Williams says maybe you got to come out, help his man. Says hey, nothing but a thing. Go back in there. Skip. We'll be all right. Everett digging back in again. Awfully close. Flashback to Friday where he got popped by Dennis Cook. Cook gets ejected on the play, and he goes and pleads his case. Says, Look at the man. He's not even in the batter's box for the love of Pete. What do we got going on here? We got back to Saturday. 2-2 two -two count on Everett. And there he is. You're racing it there. And again, the right foot. And once again, Coolpaw draws a line in the sand or the clay or whatever they have there around home plate. And this time, Everett gets warm. Williams comes out, but he's not in time. Everett gets ejected. Coolpaw says, go stand in the shower. Everett really loses it then. A complete meltdown by the All-Star. Little headbutt there. Look at it again. It's not the kind of stuff you want to do. It's the kind of stuff that gets you letters from Frank Robinson and suspensions up there close with Coolpaw. We got a problem. Tommy Harper. Wendell Kim, Jimmy Williams are all going to come, but it's a little late for this one. As we said, there's going to definitely be a suspension coming out of this. Bottom of the seventh, Carl Everett against Mark Strike three. Bill Welke sends him uh, to the outfield, and then uh, after much discussion to the showers, Everett getting the gate, arguing balls and strikes. Tom Frank Robinson out, Wilkerson in the dugout. He's not happy. Nope. And then, oh, oh, hey, what happened there? That's a spectacular HD. It's Carl Everett. He's on the disabled list. He knocks over the camera. He gets ejected. To be on the mentally disabled. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Everett. <laughs> Look at Knocks over the camera. Carl Everett, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Robinson walks back to the dugout and he hits another camera. A lot of camera hitting. Mariners win it. 3 0. The, they're loaded in six. Carl Everett. That's strike two, Carl. Whether you like it or not. Next pitch, Mike Timlin gets him. Everett has more conversation for Doug Eddings behind the plate, and Eddings is really not in the mood. You're out of here. Runs him. Top seven, Jason Veritek wants to get Everett out of there. Veritek already with one home. Cleveland down 3-0. There's a lot up again. Check swing. Home plate umpire Darren Spignardi says Lawton went around. Lawton obviously disagrees. Next pitch, pretty much the same deal. Check swing, Spignardi. It's the third base umpire Mike DeMuro, and he's ringing him up. Lawton's going to argue that, you know what, you're going to lose that argument. Nothing. So the next batter, Paul Jarek, right over Christian Guzman's head, and he wastes no time. Out and down, sped Paul Jarek. Later, I just wanted to stop them diving into my pitches, so of course he threw baseballs at him. Here comes the Jays' bullpen. Not quite as fast as the Twins' bullpen. Everybody comes running. Everybody's involved. Tom Kelly, Hector Carrasco, Paul Guzman away. He's ejected. Paul Spoljarek ejected. He later said I had poor command. There are a couple things that'll get you wrong out of a game, and then beating on an umpire's home plate, that'll get you tossed. Not too happy about the... Just didn't get the start against the Rangers. Christian Guzman did, facing Dave Berber in the first inning. Did Guzman go around? Well, yes, it's called a strike. Quick pitch. And a quick pitch, strike three, as Guzman's staring down the left field line, arguing the call. Take another look. He's way out of the batter's box. Home point up by Chris Guccione said, come on, get back in. Berba pitch. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not waiting for him. And Berba throws it right down the gut for strike three, and Guzman gets tossed. Ron Gardner comes out. He gets tossed. And then the fireworks start. Next batter, Johnny Damon. Gets hit, Damon charges the mound, bench is clear, everybody gets into it. Now watch during this melee, number 41 in white, Tim Belcher, when they get yeah, out, watch him. He came out of the pile, now watch him right in the middle of the screen, dive back into the pile. He's the pitcher for the Royals. 
McIsaac gets ejected. Royals manager Tony Muser on top of card pitching coach Dave Duncan has him by the shirt. Belcher gets his shirt ripped up by Andy Bennis. Would not get ejected. And the pitch. Strike three. Damon down looking again. He doesn't like it. And he's going to tell Wally Bell as much. Uh oh, don't touch that. That's gone. And he's thrown out. I've been through that one. I can't blame Johnny right there. I think the first at bat we all yeah. saw that ball was way off the plate of the outside. And Coming inside and got him looking on the inside corner. Down goes Damon. Jared Weaver gives up the home run to Don Kelly. It's the middle of the fifth as Damon and Dale Scott go at it. He gone. Sonia's next at bat. Loesch drills him in the back. Now that's just old school baseball justice. Don't get it, not sure I understand it, but that's what it is. And then, fans getting on Minkiewicz. John Garland drills. Well, that's not gonna make anybody happy. The benches are gonna come out. And, well, Megalith says, I don't know if this is over or if it's gonna stop, but oh goody, 17 meetings left to go between these two. Sox won at 7-4. Top of the fourth, Cashmere still in there, pitching a brilliant game at this point. Hits Ramirez. Now the home plate umpire, so he gives both teams the warning, right? Next batter is Kevin Millar, and Kashmir hits Millar. Back -back hit. There's no way he meant to do that on purpose, folks. After the warning, the kid's pitching a great game. Bench is clear. Kashmir would be ejected. He didn't give up a hit in his three innings and struck out six. 3-2 pitch is outside, I guess. And Jerry Lane just said to Scott, and he threw him out. Wow. He threw out Scott Kazmir and Bob Melvin sprints out of the dugout, and this is not going to be good, folks. Wow. He just threw out the starting pitcher in the second inning. You've got to be kidding. Those you. first batter next inning look out. You knew it was coming. Derek Lowe hits Gary Matthews Jr. in the Buttocks. And Matthews goes to first. Now, would you believe there is a fundamentally sound way to charge the mound yeah, on the Red Sox? Because you can't just charge. Here's Gerald Williams, August 29, 2000. Pedro hits him, and he begins, let me see what I've got. I'm going to act as if I'm cool and collected. And now I'm off. That's the fundamental way. Apparently. This is how Matthews uh, chose to, to do it here. He's on first, seeming calm and cool and collected. Tony Batista fouls went off. And then Gary Matthews Jr. Goes to the mound and is pushing and shoving. And now we're sort of calm and suddenly we're about to. Now we're playing the feud! We're playing the feud! Oh boy. On a Sunday in Boston, all heck breaks loose. Everybody going at it. Baratek in the middle of it. And we want to point something out. That's Willis Roberts. Watch what he does to Carlos Baerga. Paging Bob Watson. Willis Roberts needed a chill pill on this particular day. He's got a ball, acts like he's about to throw it or use it in some way, staring somebody down. In the end, Matthews ejected along with Roberts and Red Sox pitching coach Tony Klein. Fireworks, now some emotional ones. Top nine, Rockies up 10-8, Carlos Guillen strikes out. He's not happy with your ump, Gary Cedarstrom, so he argues the call, and then he can't argue with me. I am the ump. Go away. That's easy enough. Well, now it's really heavy because now Alan Trammell's really mad. He goes off like a Roman candle. Pudge is going to come get some of this eventually. He's just going to stand there and explode. Fort Tigers ejected. Rockies win it 10 8. Great. Fastball more effective. He missed with the fastball down. It's hittable, but. You know, Nobby, I think sure tomorrow just yeah. got ejected. He. Took a little umbrage at that call, turns, and there's the. And I don't like it. He got the chest protector up there. Got to be careful of that one. Stretch in the three-two. Oh, no, 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 no. And rarely he... argues, and when he does, he's pretty much always right. Because he come for the day, having a conversation with Phil Cuzzy. Oh, and he, he just threw got him out. Run. Yeah, well, it was, wow. a, it was a long conversation. Was it ever? I'm surprised because he uh, uh, allowed him to stay there as long as he did.